Missed a career best with both bat and ball and a win to go with it. It doesn't come much better than that, does it? No, I think in the end, a lot of guys contributed a lot today. Um, we needed the win. We, we want to push as hard as we can to get um, win this trophy. So, yeah, it wasn't just me. It was a massive team contribution. I know you're keen to talk about the team. We will in a moment, but just uh, a word on your own sort of confidence at the moment. You're averaging, I think, 318 over your last five innings. Have you ever been in better form with the bat? Um, to be honest, I don't know. I'm just in, enjoying um, playing at the moment. I've worked really hard on my game and I've had a lot of, um, how would you say, bad games over the last two, three years. So I'm not, I'm not even thinking about the form or anything like that. I just want to go out there and enjoy what I'm doing and, and you really try and contribute as much as I can to the team, um, to us winning. Is there anything you can put that sort of form down to? I know you did a lot of work with Paul Nixon on little tweaks to your game. Have yep. they helped? Yeah, um, working with the coaching staff has, has really contributed to my game. Um, we kind of worked out that triggering for me when I'm batting. It's not necessarily the best option. Um, so I'm standing still and kind of finding ways to hit the ball straight because that's um, in the end what's made me effective. So yeah, Nico has ma played a massive role on my on my batting and Fonz has really gave, given me a lot of strategic help um, as well as technical help with my bowling. So. I think in the end, um, it's about being in the moment um, and not thinking too much about the external things or um, things you can't control. And I, I think that's sort of managing a little bit better at the moment um, than what than before. Out there in the middle of the day, you formed a quick fire partnership with Louis Kimber. I think 86 after that um, with Aaron Lilly. Did you find scoring with those two quite comfortable out there? Yeah, but batting with Kimber and, and um, Lilly is, is a pleasure, to be honest. Um, they score so freely um, in the end, so it's just really nice to, to be in the, the middle with them because boundary options are always there um, and rotating the strike becomes so much easier if you kind of only facing one or two balls and over. We got a little stuck between sort of over 30 and 40 out there, but then you and Nat put your foot on the accelerator, I think 113 for the eighth wicket. So how well did he play? Nat was really special today, to be honest. Um, I think to, to only be in your second list A game and predominantly be a bowler to come out and bat the way he did was really special especially after I think I struggled a little bit to get off strike um, I think they bowled really well to me in that that little phase between 30 and 40 where I didn't have many boundary options um, and he just came up and played with absolute freedom which is really good to see and I'm really happy for him because he's a great team man so in the end um, it's, a, it's another team contribution and you two took 83 off the final five overs did that momentum sort of you know, really help us in our favour going out to bowl? Yeah, I think it did. Um, I heard a little bit of the guys who batted up front. They said, the middle six guys said that we had to be off about 90 um, runs in the power play. So I think that momentum in the end kind of kept them a little bit more quiet or, um, and, and let us bowl a couple more good area balls, um, which restricted them in the power play because that was probably the best time to bat the first power play. So um, in the end, the momentum is, is key in, in white ball cricket and we took it with us, which is really good to see. You mentioned there the power play, they obviously got off to a flyer in theirs, but you struck in your first over. Um, at the end of that, a really important time to get a breakthrough. Yeah, it was. Um, Mark Stoneman is a really dangerous player. Um, he's actually had the, the beta of me um, in the past, so I was really happy to strike there. Um, and then to get Eskenazi in the end was, was also really special in terms of what the team needed at the time. So yeah, very tough. And four for 47 overall, we've mentioned that's your list A um, career best. How did you find the wicket and what was you know, the, the key really to keeping the run rate down, which you did probably better than anyone else on, on either side? Um, I felt like hitting the wicket was, was probably the best option, um, that kind of six to seven metre length. Um, there was enough variation in the wicket that I didn't have to try and search for anything special. Um, so that's kind of what I try to do. I try to bowl like, quick off cutters every now and then with the odd bouncer. Um, and, and in the end, that's, that's kind of what helped me strike as well. So that's what I tried to do. I, I, I do think most of our bowlers did the same thing. Um, it just wasn't as um, on, the, on the ball today with execution. Um, and on wickets like this where the outfield is so quick, um, you can kind of get carried away every now and then with a good shot that goes for a boundary of a good ball. So I kind of just try to stay with it and then take, it, take the momentum with me if I could. And just fine, then it's two wins from two to start the campaign. We've spoken before about only being an eight game tournament, really short. So, how important is that to generate momentum into Sussex? Yeah, it's vital. I think if we can get as many wins up front as we can, it kind of will help us at the back end of the, the tournament. So, 
yeah, we're really happy as a team and hopefully we can keep winning or at least keep putting in good performances. We can always be beaten on any day, so we need to rock up and do our best um, on every opportunity we, we kind of get.